Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and I hope you all had a good Labor Day weekend. I had a great sort of vacation over the last week where I took a lot of days off as my fiancé was off throughout the week, so I had a good time off. But today we're going to be getting fired back into the news, starting off with Windows 10, which I this is going to sound crazy, but they've put out an update that is actually breaking things. I know what you're thinking, Joker. You joke, you, you kidder. You Joker, you. Of course that's why they call you Joker. You must be kidding. But no, a Windows update is actually causing some seriously high CPU usage for users on a new update, so we're going to get fired into all of that. And there's also a new game, which I want to bring to your guys' attention if you're a fan of the Dead Space franchise, then this one is probably going to wet your whistle. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelKey.com, where you can save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2016 for $33, and Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus for under $70. And if you use my code PDS22 at checkout, you could save yourself 22% off of your Windows 10 Pro key, or you can get 3% off of the entire website with the code PDS3, or 16% off with PDS6. For any software over there, so be sure to check out the links down in the description below. So, first up, we will be talking about the Windows 10 update, which was rolled out recently, and it is causing some high CPU usage. So much, in fact, that it is having the Cortana Search UI take up an entire core on your processor. So just imagine if you're still a quad-core user running something like a Ford 790K or anything like that, any any CPU at all, having an entire core being absolutely ravaged by Cortana. So you can imagine for some people that would be a problem. Obviously, if you're running like a 8-core, 16-core, you might not notice it as much, but it will definitely be causing some CPU usage, uh, high CPU usage as it is taking over an entire core. The update in question is KB4512941, or if you're wanting to search to see if you have this installed in your system, you could search your installed updates, just look for the last few digits, 941, and you'll be able to find out if you have this update already installed or not. It is showing up for me right now as an optional update, as I haven't updated Windows in probably about a month or so. And I, I do not have it installed personally at this time, but I would advise anyone that does, if you have been experiencing any sort of spikes in CPU usage and seeing problems with performance, then you would definitely want to go ahead and remove this update from Windows until this does get ironed out and gets patched by Microsoft, which hopefully comes sooner rather than later. Now, this is definitely not the first time in 2019 where Windows has rolled out a bug. I, I, a bug, I, I, it's, that's what I call them now. They're not even patches anymore. They're just rolling out bugs. Like, here we go. We're going to introduce a new bug into your, compa into your computer. Maybe we'll get it fixed at some point. Maybe not. Maybe you got to fix it yourself, kind of like right now. Um, so if you remember just a few months ago, there was a Windows update that came out that broke all pretty much every third-party antivirus software out there. That was a big problem. Um, this is definitely not the first time, and it's not the last time we're going to see problems with Windows 10 updates as well. So for now, go ahead, remove this update, and hopefully it resolves any high CPU usage that you may have been seeing on your system as of late. Next up, we have a new game from what it seems to be a new studio as well. The studio is Sun Scorched Studios, and they are going getting ready to release a game called Negative Atmosphere, which got its first gameplay teaser uh, yesterday. It's uh, called, as I said, Negative Atmosphere. It looks really good, especially if you're a fan of the Dead Space franchise. It looks exactly like, like it really does look exactly like Dead Space, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with them taking inspiration from a killer franchise, especially one like Dead Space, which I absolutely loved for the first two games. The third game I thought was absolute trash. I mean, they basically turned their um, crafting system into a whole, just a mess of making you pay for microtransactions. So EA just totally ruined that game. They totally ruined Visceral. And I've been wanting a proper Dead Space sequel for some time now. And with Visceral pretty much being absolved from EA, it's very unlikely that we, were, we will ever see a proper single player Dead Space game again in the future, but thankfully we've got someone like Sunscorch Studios coming out with Negative Atmosphere, which seems to be picking up the reins of that type of action horror sort of game set in outer space on a, it seems like a, an abandoned space station where you're this sole protagonist going throughout the world fighting monsters around scary, dark, shady hallways and things like that. It is made on the Unreal Engine 4, uh, it did say, yeah, and Unreal Engine 4 is the engine that they are using for this, so the graphics, as you would expect, do look pretty damn good. 
and this is definitely one that I'm going to be keeping an eye out for. Now, we don't have any official release dates or anything like that. I was able to find that Sunscorch Studios does have a Patreon right now. They only have 131 patrons backing them. Um, as far as when the game is going to come out, they do say in here that they are hoping to have a demo by the end of 2019. So that's actually not that bad. We could see some game more gameplay of this by the end of the year and hopefully throughout 2020 as this is something I'm definitely going to keep my eye on. I'll keep you guys up to date if we get any new information on it. But so far, Negative Atmosphere just seems like a game that you should probably have on your radar if you were ever a fan of the first two Dead Space games. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on that, the Windows update, and also Dead Space 3. If you were a Dead Space fan, what did you think of Dead Space 3? I mean, am I, am I just, you know, out of my mind thinking that game was absolute trash? I mean, there's, there was a lot of elements that I wanted to like about it. The co-op really didn't bother me too much. I have a friend that I like playing co-op with, so... Um, that really didn't bother me so much, although I do like the single-player solo experience of the first two games. It just kind of makes it feel even that much more claustrophobic, where it's just kind of you against these monsters in this space station and everything like that that's happening around you. So that it does kind of take you out of it having the co-op, but I still like co-op, and I was generally okay with that. It was mostly like the crafting system and how that basically forced you in a lot of ways to want to take out your wallet and spend money so they can get some of the upgrades that were almost essential to beat some of the later bosses and things like that throughout the game. So let me know your thoughts down on everything down in the comments below. I'll be seeing you guys throughout the week for more news videos and reviews and things like that. So make sure you are stay tuned for that content. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new in any way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will catch you all tomorrow for another video.